convinced. If only I knew someone wise and talented in this army. Hey folks, I'm Sirius JG. I'm Bob Vulture. Uh, it's time for more of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 8 Complete Edition. Turbo Champion, blah blah. The Shoe Story. Last time, the wise and talented Zhuge Liang was convinced to join Liu Bei's army without even us having to defeat him in battle. We just had to <laughs> defeat his wife. <laughs> sure. And, uh, you know, it's out, uh, it's out written. But um, now that uh, we've done that, it's uh, time to stop Cao Cao's forces from, you know, tagging us and stuff. Well, I mean, you know, the people, uh, Liu Bei's people are trying to flee to safety, and he's trying to help them, mm -hmm. and, you know... I'm going to guess what, there's like a little baby Liu Kong hanging out now, or... This is, the, yeah, the, the reason these three Yu, guys Yu are present is, uh, well, Ado, I believe he was called as a little tight, but, yeah, the reason you have these three guys is because, of course, this is, this is where, you know, this is where Zhang Fei supposedly holds Cao Cao's entire army back single-handedly by standing on a bridge and promising to kill anyone who tries to cross. This is also the battle where Zhao Yun rides behind enemy lines to try to rescue Liu Bei's wife, but instead she tosses him the baby and jumps into a well. This is the herself. battle depicted in the opening cinematic of, was it 7? Or... Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. It's also the battle where, if you remember Dynasty Warriors 8 and Liu Bei's story, Liu Bei completely ignores Zhuge Liang's fire attack plan. <laughs> so Zhuge Liang's big debut, because it's like, a, it's a, it is... It is Zhuge Liang's debut in the novel as well. This is the first battle he participates in, and they get this huge victory by launching this massive fire attack. But in Dynasty <laughs> Warriors 5, it's like, nah, never mind. <laughs> no, no need. So that being said, uh, I don't know if we start in camp or not for this one, but you were thinking that probably someone would want to play Zhuge Liang. Yeah, just because of the three characters, it's the one... We haven't played the one, Yeah, the one that has not been played by both of us at this point. So I'll point. give you a chance to do that, and I'll play as Zhang Fei, which means, for now, I'll pick Zhao Yun. All right. I wish to know the circuits. But just in case we... Have you given me Just in case we don't have a camp, I can probably stick with Zhao Yun, but you do want to equip... Uh, Zhu I do want to equip weapons and see what... Yeah, he has no... Come on, guys. Let's get a war fan going here. Crimson Wings Crimson of Heaven. Crimson Wing of Heaven. Oh, explosive powers <laughs> does a lot less damage than the uh, royal halberd, but I just don't think uh, it makes a lot of sense for him to be fighting with the royal halberd. It's okay, okay. So uplift war cover with each attack. Well, it sounds like it has some good abilities attached to it. Oh yeah, no, that that's that's cool, guys. I gotta switch that one too. And then we have uh, the crimson wing of man. The man one, the mantor. Don't you be talking about what the man says. He says... I just told you not to talk about what he says. Who to listen to what he says. Got about... He has a two and a five, and I'm sure he has several other laser launching techniques. Not equipped that, uh, Oh, yeah. Let's equip skills. Uh, need that. And the rest of that is pretty much what we've been using for everybody. I shall guide the land unto peace from the chaos. From the chaos, chaos. Well, there's a camp. A fine sight this is. The mighty Zhang Fei turning his back on the enemy. Ha! Ah. I guess we don't have a choice, though, do we? For the sake of my brother, then, I'll protect you all. I'll protect y'all. All y'all. All I shall guide the land unto peace from the chaos. Big time. Look at how the people flock to Master Liu Bei. It's puzzling. He truly is the light to lead this world. I must protect him no matter the size of the forces that come. I will protect this house. Mr. Liu Bei is tired from his constant wandering. I hope the day comes soon when we can all take a rest. Master Liu Bei really should think about figuring out a place that he wants to go before he just heads out there and starts a wandering. So that's Zhuge Liang, the sleeping dragon. He looks very intellectual. Quite sexual. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> Go ahead. My, my lord, it's me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> my lord, it's me. The world is fine. I'm now living with the girl I met at dinner. <laughs> oh, I could not for her. She was not living in the crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> she said she marched with us to the next battle. Little love help us in Jongring Shamba. We finally got a strategist, but we're going to run away. Something just doesn't feel right. <laughs> Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> the enemy is frighteningly strong. I don't know how much longer we can protect the people. This world is in chaos. It's the same anywhere we go. But maybe things can be different with Master Liu Bei. I've just started to feel that way. He shares our joy and our tears. There's no other lord like Liu Bei. He plays Tron 9 for free. Oh, we're with you. We're with you, Lord Liu Bei. How many of these people are there? It's like an entire country on the move. Maybe that's it. They're all people in Master Liu Bei's country, so we have to protect them. That Zaz Force is very strong. They'll easily crush our army. You have an army? <laughs> yeah, it's a peasant army. All the peasants are super yeah. old. <laughs> Lord Liu Bei is the only one we trust. We'll stick with him no matter what. Sure. We're peasants from Jing province. We'll stick with Lord Liu Bei until we die. In about 20 minutes. You fools, stop talking like that. If you die, it'll all be over. I was able to leave my homeland, but I will never leave Lord Liu Bei. <laughs> Not if I can provide him with the sample. Ah! Ma'am? It's thanks to all of you that we've come this far. Thank you so much. Thank you so bloody much. I hope you won't give up on us now. Don't give up on us, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't give up on me now. No, no, no. Adu, our lord's son was left behind. How terrible. When the rapture came, I guess he hadn't Ooh. been saved yet. Ooh. We must figure out how to save him, for our lord will be without an heir if something were to happen. Oh, I could get a new one. Well, yeah, did you even hear about that? The rapture's coming next week. Robot president said so. We should get ready. Oh, yeah. I heard that Adu, Lord Liu Bei's son, is marching with us. Well, you weren't talking to that other guy. He just said he got left behind. He's still only an infant. Are we really going to be okay? Are we okay? So many lives have been sacrificed to get this far. I hope there will be no further bloodshed. K.O. K.O.'s troops are very well trained. It doesn't help that he has so many of them. Our forces are a blend of peasants and soldiers. We need to be careful on how we manage them. It's hard enough keeping these people safe. Now we have to face a horde of K.O. K.O.'s forces. We don't have any choice, do we? I'm staking my future on Master Liu Bei. That's right. Will it ever be game over? Never be game over. Oh, okay. good. But thanks for asking. Cao uh. Cao gives chase with a large force. Does he really need such numbers? Just pour moi? The path that Cao Cao has chosen is completely opposed to your one of benevolence, Master Liu Bei. Uh. Having said that, it is not yet time to face him. Let us flee from this peril along with the people. Everyone, I am in need of your strength. We must work our way through this predicament together with...
hit the people. Ha! Leave it to me, brother. Ha! I'll deal with any enemies that dare to get in our way. Hey, look! It's Liu Bei. Let's try to Let's get him. <laughs> yeah, lasers are pretty awesome. My strategy is the only strategy. Yeah, here. <laughs> I thought I got it. Capture the central garrison. As strong as you. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. <laughs> now, set the garrison aflame. Wait, maybe I should leave at first. Oh, they got 
there are some bad dudes already over here. Yeah, for some reason they just... I, they uh, teleported in here. Man. They kind of ignored me and they went straight to... Uh, oh, fine. I'll hit them with death lasers. Soul is dead. Hey, I'm supposed to be doing that. <laughs> well, I mean, somebody has to. Yeah. The whirlwind pain. Well, if you're gonna do that, I guess I'd need to like try to stop them from getting here. I mean, if you... I, That's all good. You're, you're over on the uh, you were over on the side of the map. They're coming from the... Well, they're coming from more than one direction. But yeah, that's... The whole point is that that's the choking line. So. Get with the giant swing. I will shoot them so quick. <laughs> Oh, you came over here. Huh. They said they were coming from the west, so I, uh... I thought you were guarding the bridge or something. Yeah, you can't actually pursue them too far the way this map is. Due to the fire attack. There's just not much else going on in the short term here. So uh, the rest of these forces start to arrive on the other side. There we go. Well, I mean, I think one of us could probably be down there with the UBA making his advance go faster, but it's more fun to just kill lots and lots of these guys. Jugay Leon guy, well, I don't like it. Oh, 
set these rigs to rendezvous with Liu Bei. Congratulations on making it through such a long journey. However, this is where your lives finally come to an end. Hmm. The enemy's here! And they have so many weapons! Are we doomed to die just by coming all this way? Enemy's here! The enemy's queer! Get used to the enemy. Don't always come true. Bad dreams. Ballista are pretty close. <laughs> hey guys. Lube, peasant, 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 peasant. Ah, damn it. Okay. Shang Liao is here. <laughs> just snap. Yeah, just end the. Uh, probably he's the final boss at level. I was I was gonna try to kill a couple more regular dudes and then see if I could take out Sao Sao back in the game. Damn. Bring me the head of Galaga. Oh, and by the way, I'm a true warrior in three kingdoms. Now do you see why I'm the greatest warrior in the land? Now do you understand? I see your brush with death has honed your skills in battle. Therefore, I shall give this battle everything oh, I've got. Dang it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Save? Interim saber. Yeah, okay. That's fascinating. Hide behind cover against Zhang Liao's Musa, but uh, I could not. Juge Jun did it, right. Oh, yeah. He is a true hero of three kings. So why do we why do we even need to retreat now? Everyone, I appreciate your perseverance. Last one to the boat is a welcome in. Oh shit, I'm wearing beards on top of my camp. Luckily he's not able to board the boat for some reason. <laughs> Running up towards this uh, port I'm not allowed to get on my horse of though, so strategy. I'm like God damn it. Don't give out now. Oh man. Did you not know require strategy? Liu no. Bei managed to shake free from the pursuit of Cao Cao's massive army and fled as Yuan It helped that Cao Cao's army was, in fact, defeated. There, Zhuge Liang proposed that they form an alliance with Sun Quan, agreeing to deliver the message to Wu personally. Sun Quan was too busy carving up tables. At the time, same time, a letter from Tsik Kao Kao arrived at Wu demanding that they surrender. <laughs> so, which letter did he have better? <laughs> opinion was divided within Wu as to whether they should agree to KO Chaos demands or oppose them. You were wrong to oppose me. While the majority was leaning towards surrender, the Grand Commander Zhou Yu and Lu Su advocated resistance. Hashtag. Remember the hashtag resist? Thanks to Lu Su's proposal and efforts of Zhuge Liang, Sun Quan decided to stand and fight. Liu Bei met with Sun Quan and they formed an alliance against Cao Cao Minya. Brother. Bro. Okay, okay, wasted a little time and advanced his massive fleet down the Shangjiang from Jing province. Determined to meet this advance, Xu Geliang worked together with Zhou Yu and Lu Su to come up with a plan. Their plan? Burn everything. 
Infernal Foods. They would use time, the terrain, and personnel in order to defeat KO KO. But most of them would use fire. Come on. Zhao Yun, Zhuge Liang, and Liu Bei were about to display their might and ambition at Chirby. Chirby Burby Chief Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly. That'll have to happen next time, folks. Um, because this is going to be the end of this video. I'm Serious JG. I'm Bobo the Vulture. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, us feed a billion uh, way guys. Tune in next time as we feed a billion way guys. Uh.